Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to read the entire script of the first National Treasure movie, but anytime anyone says the word declaration, I'll put another stick of gum in my mouth. I have a 45 pack here of classic bubble flavor, so I hope that's enough. And Nicolas Cage and John Turtletob, if you see this, please, please make our dreams come true and make National Treasure 3 a reality. And if you're watching and you also want that to happen, please like this video and send it to a fellow National Treasure fan so that we can raise awareness about this very important cause. All right, here we go. <clears throat> National Treasure, written by Jim Koof, Kauf, and the Wibberleys, produced by Jerry Bruckheimer and directed by John Turtletob. Grandpa, you're not supposed to be up here looking at that. I just wanted to know. Well, you're old enough, I suppose. You should know the story. Okay, here we go. It was 1832, on a night much like this. Charles Carroll was the last surviving signer of the Declaration of Independence. He was also a member of a secret society known as the Masons, and he knew he was dying. He woke up his stable boy in the middle of the night and ordered him to take him to the White House to see Andrew Jackson because it was urgent that he speak to the president. Did he talk to him? No, he never got the chance. The president wasn't there that night, but Charles Carroll had a secret. So he took into his confidence the one person he could. My grandfather's grandfather. Thomas Gates. What was the secret? A treasure. A treasure beyond all imagining. A treasure that had been fought over for centuries by tyrants, pharaohs, emperors, warlords. And every time it changed hands, it grew larger. And then suddenly, it vanished. It didn't reappear for more than a thousand years when knights from the First Crusade discovered secret vaults beneath the Temple of Solomon. You see, the knights who found the vaults believed that the treasure was too great for any one man, not even a king. They brought the treasure back to Europe and took the name the Knights Templar. Over the next century, they smuggled it out of Europe, and they formed a new brotherhood called the Freemasons in honor of the builders of the Great Temple. War followed. By the time of the American Revolution, the treasure had been hidden again. By then, the Masons included George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, Paul Revere. They knew they had to make sure the treasure would never fall into the hands of the British. So they devised a series of clues and maps to its location. Over time, the clues were lost or forgotten until only one remained. And that was the secret that Charles Carroll entrusted to young Thomas Gates. Charlotte. The secret lies with Charlotte. Who's Charlotte? Oh, not even Mr. Carroll knew that. Now look here, Ben. The Freemasons, among our founding fathers, left us clues like these. The unfinished pyramid, the all-seeing eye, symbols of the Knights Templar, guardians of the treasure. They're speaking to us through these. You mean laughing at us? You know what that dollar represents? The entire Gates family fortune. Six generations of fools chasing after fool's gold. Uh, it's not about the money, Patrick. It's never been about the money. Come on, son. Time to go. You can say your goodbyes. Grandpa, are we knights? <laughs> Do you want to be? All right, um, Neil. Benjamin Franklin Gates. Do you take upon yourself the duty of the Templars, the Freemasons, and the family gates? Do you so swear? I so swear. I was thinking about Hanson and Peary crossing this kind of terrain with nothing more than dog sleds and on foot. Can you imagine? It's extraordinary. We getting closer? Assuming Ben's theory is correct and my tracking model is accurate, we should be getting very close. But don't go by me. I broke a shoelace this morning. It's it's a bad omen. Shall we turn around and go home? Or we could pull over and just throw him out here. Okay. Riley, you're not missing that little windowless cubicle we found you in. 
No, no, absolutely not. Why are we stopping? I thought we were looking for a ship. I don't see any ship. She's out there. Look, this is a waste of time. How could a ship wind up way out here? Well, I'm no expert, but it could be that the hydrothermic properties of this region produce hurricane force storms that cause the ocean to freeze and then melt and then refreeze, resulting in a semi solid migrating landmass that would land a ship right around here. Hello, beautiful. Have Victor check the fuel in the generators. Two years ago, if you hadn't shown up, hadn't believed the treasure was real, I don't know if I ever would have found Charlotte. You would have found it, I have no doubt. That's why I didn't think it was as crazy as an investment as everyone said. I'm just relieved that I'm not as crazy as everyone says. Or said my dad was. Or my granddad. Or my great-granddad. Okay. Let's go. Let's go find some treasure. Yeah, bring us back something. Oh, God. You handled that well. This is it. It's the cargo hold. Do you think it's in the barrels? Gunpowder. Okay. Why would the captain be guarding this barrel? I found something. What is it? Do you guys know what this is? Is it a billion dollar pipe? It's a meerschaum pipe. Ah, that is beautiful. Look at the in intricacy of the scroll work on the stem. Is it a million dollar pipe? No, it's a clue. Let me see that. Oh, don't break it. We are one step closer to the treasure, gentlemen. Ben, I thought you said that the treasure would be on the Charlotte. No, the secret lies with Charlotte. I said it could be here. It's Templar symbols. The legend writ, the stain affected, the key in silence, undetected. 55 in iron pen, Mr. Matlack can't offend. It's a riddle. I need to think. The legend writ, the stain affected. What legend? There's the legend of the Templar treasure, and the stain affects the legend. How? The key in silence undetected. Wait. The legend and the key. Now there's something. A map. Maps have legends. Maps have keys. It's a map. An invisible map. So now, wait a minute, what do you mean invisible? An invisible map. The stain affected could refer to a dye or a reagent used to bring about a certain result. Combined with the key in silence undetected, the implication is that the effect is to make what was undetectable detectable. Unless the key in silence could be prison. Albuquerque. See, I can do it too. Snorkel. That's where the map is. Like he said, 55 in Iron Pen. Iron Pen is a prison. Or it could be, since the primary writing medium of the time was Iron Gall ink, the pen is just a pen. But then why not just say pen? Why say Iron Pen? Because it's a prison. Wait a minute. Iron Pen. The iron does not describe the ink in the pen. It described what was penned. It was iron it was firm. It was mineral. No, no, no. That's stupid. It was, it was firm. It was adamant. It was resolved. It was resolved. Mr. Matlack can't offend. Timothy Matlack was the official scribe of the Continental Congress. Calligrapher, not writer. And to make sure that he could not offend the map, it was put on the back of a re resolution that he transcribed. A resolution that 55 men signed the Declaration of Independence. Come on, there's no invisible map on the back of the Declaration of Independence. That's clever, really. A document of that importance would ensure the map's survival. And you were said there were several Masons signed it, yeah? Yeah, nine for sure. We'll have to arrange a way to examine it. This is one of the most important documents in history. They're not just going to let us waltz in there and run chemical tests on it. Then what do you propose we do? I don't know. We could borrow it. 
Steal it. I don't think so. Ben. The treasure of the Knights Templar is the treasure of all treasures. Oh, I didn't know that, really. Look, Ben, I understand your bitterness. I really do. You've spent your entire life searching for this treasure, only to have the respected historical community treat you and your family with mockery and contempt. You should be able to rub this treasure in their arrogant faces, and I want you to have the chance to do that. How? We all have our areas of expertise. You don't think mine are limited to writing checks, do you? In another life, I arranged a number of operations of questionable legality. I'd take his word for it if I were you. So don't worry. I'll make all the arrangements. No. I'd really need your help here. Ian, I'm not going to let you steal the Declaration of Independence. Okay. From this point on, all you're going to be is a hindrance. Hey! What are you going to do? Are you going to shoot me, Shaw? Well, you can't shoot me. There's more to the riddle. Information you don't have. I do. I'm the only one who can figure it out, and you know that. He's bluffing. We played poker together, Ian. You know I can't bluff. Tell me what I need to know, Ben, or I'll shoot your friend. Hey! Quiet, Riley. Your job's finished here. Look where you're standing. All that gunpowder. You shoot me, I drop this, we all go up. Ben, what happens when the flare burns down? Tell me what I need to know, Ben. You need to know if Shaw can catch. Nice try, though. Get out, Shaw. You fool. Riley, get over here. What is this? Smuggler's hold, get in. Move, get out of here. What? Move, get out. Follow me. Let's go, let's go. She's gonna blow. Get down. Okay, let's go, before someone sees the smoke. There's an Inuit village about nine miles east of here. It's popular with bush pilots. All right. Then what are we gonna do? Start making our way back home. No, I mean about Ian. He's going to steal the Declaration of Independence, Ben. We stop him. Is it really so hard to believe that someone's going to try to steal the Declaration of Independence? Oh, man. The FBI gets a thousand tips a week. They're not going to worry about something they're sure is safe. But anyone that can do anything is going to think we're crazy. Anyone crazy enough to believe us isn't going to want to help. We don't need someone crazy. But one step short of crazy, what do you get? Obsessed. Passionate. Excuse me. Dr. Chase can see you now, Mr. Brown. Thank you. Mr. Brown, the family name doesn't get a lot of respect in the academic community. Huh. Being kept down by the man. A very cute man. Thank you. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Hi. Abigail Chase. Paul Brown. Nice to meet you. Bill. Nice to meet you, Bill. How may I help you? Your accent. Pennsylvania Dutch? Saxony German. Oh, you're not American? Oh, I am an American. I just wasn't born here. Please don't touch that. Sorry, a neat collection. George Washington's campaign buttons. You're missing the inaugural, though. Sorry, the script doesn't have any numbers in it, so those are just blank. Excuse me, back to the script. I found one once. That's very fortunate for you. Now, you told my assistant that this was an urgent matter? Yes, ma'am. Well, I'm going to get straight to the point. Someone's going to steal the Declaration of Independence. It's true. I think I better put you gentlemen in touch with the FBI. We've been to the FBI, and they assured us that the declaration cannot possibly be stolen. They're right. My friend and I are less certain. 
However, if we were given the privilege of examining the document, we would be able to tell you for certain if it were actually in any danger. And what do you think you're going to find? We believe that there's an encryption on the back. An encryption, like a code? Yes, ma'am. Of what? A cartograph? A map? Yes, ma'am. A map of what? The location of, of hidden items of historic and intrinsic value, a treasure map. And that's where we lost the FBI. You're treasure hunters, aren't you? We're more like treasure protectors. Mr. Brown, I have personally seen the back of the Declaration of Independence. And I promise you, the only thing there is a notation that reads, Original Declaration of Independence, dated July 4th, 1776. Yes, ma'am. But no map. It's invisible. Oh, right. And that's where we lost the Department of Homeland Security. What led you to assume there's this invisible map? We found an engraving on the stem of a 200-year-old pipe owned by Freemasons. May I see the pipe? We don't have it. Did Bigfoot take it? It was nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. And you know, that really is a nice collection. It must have taken you a long time to hunt down all that history. If it's any consolation, you had me convinced. It's not. I was thinking, what if we go public, plaster the story all over the internet? It's not like we have our reputations to worry about. Although I don't think that's exactly going to scare Ian away. Thirty years of searching and I'm three feet away. Of all the words written here about freedom, there's a line that's at the heart of all the others. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations, pursuing invariably the same object, evinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, it is their right, it is their duty, to throw off such government and provide new guards for their future security. People don't talk that way anymore. Beautiful, huh? No idea what you said. It means that if there's something wrong, those who have the ability to take action have the responsibility to take action. I'm going to steal it. What? I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. Ben, this is huge. It's prison huge. You are going to go to prison. You know that? Yeah, probably. So that would bother most people. Ian's going to try to steal it, and if he succeeds, he'll destroy the declaration. <laughs> oh my gosh. The fact is, the only way to protect the declaration... is to steal it. It's upside down. I don't think there's a choice. Ben, for God's sakes, it's like stealing a national monument, okay? It's like stealing him. It can't be done. Not shouldn't be done. It can't be done. Let me prove it to you. <laughs> okay, Ben, pay attention. I've brought you to the Library of Congress. Why? Because it's the biggest library in the world. Over 300 million books. And they're all saying the exact same thing. Listen to Riley. What we have here, my friend, is an entire layout of the archives, short of builders' blueprints. You've got construction orders, phone lines, water and sewage. It's all here. Now, when the Declaration is on display, okay, 
It's surrounded by guards and video monitors and little families from Iowa and little kids on their eighth grade field trip. And beneath an inch of bulletproof glass is an army of sensors and heat monitors that will go off if someone gets too close with a high fever. Now when it's not on display, it is lowered into a four foot thick concrete steel plated vault that happens to be equipped with an electronic combination lock and biometric access denial systems. You know, Thomas Edison tried and failed nearly 2,000 times to develop the carbonized cotton thread filament for the incandescent light bulb. Edison, when asked about it, he said, I didn't fail. I found out 2,000 ways how not to make a light bulb. But he only needed to find one way to make it work. The preservation room. Enjoy. Go ahead. Do you know what the preservation room is for? Delicious jams and jellies? No. That's where they clean, repair, and maintain all the documents and the storage housings when they're not on display or in the vault. Now, when the case needs work, they take it out of the vault, directly across the hall, and into the preservation room. The best time for us, or Ian, to steal it would be during the gala this weekend, when the guards are distracted by the VIPs upstairs. But we'll make our way to the preservation room where, those, where there's much less security. Well, if Ian, preservation, the gala, huh, this might be possible. It might. And we are in. There you are. Hello. The hallway. That's what I want. Game on. I'll buy that. Cool. This just came for you. Ah, uh, I hope it's not from Stan. For the woman who has everything else, thanks for listening. Paul Brown. Abigail Chase. Hey, Mike. Let's do this by the book. Hallway is secure. Keep the document level. No problem. What have you got? The heat sensor went off in the declaration frame. <laughs> One pack down, 15 sticks. Run full diagnostics, and then I want them all changed out. Our evil plan is working. Ben, are you sure that we should... Riley, can you hear me? Unfortunately, yeah. We're all set in here. You want to go around to the front and present your invitation? You're going to have to show ID. Go ahead, man. Howdy. I need your invitation and your ID, please. How do you look? Not bad. Mazel tov. This is it. For you. Oh, Mr. Brown. Dr. Chase. What are you doing here? Is that that hot girl? How does she look? I made a last minute donation. A big one. Well, on that subject, thank you for your wonderful gift. Oh, you did get it? Good. Yes, thank you. You know, I really couldn't accept something like that normally, but I really want it. Well, you needed it. Come on, Romeo, get out of there. I have been wondering, though, what the engraving indicated on the pipe that Bigfoot took. Hi. Here you go. Oh, Dr. Herbert, this is Mr. Brown. Hi. Hi there. Who's the stiff? Here, why don't you let me take that so that you can take that off his hands? Thank you. A toast, yeah? To high treason. That's what these men were committing when they signed the declaration. Had we lost the war, they would have been hanged, beheaded, drawn and quartered, and oh, my personal favorite, had their entrails cut out and burned. So, here's to the men who did what was considered wrong in order to do 
what they knew was right. What they knew was right. Well, good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Okay, go, go. This better work. Clear. On. Door one. Ten seconds. How does it look? It's working. It's working. Unbelievable. Second door. Five seconds. Well done, boys. Let's go. We're in the elevator. Okay. I'm going to turn off the surveillance cameras. Surveillance cameras. Ready? In five, four, three. Now, Ben Gates, you are now the invisible man. I'm here. Give me the letters of her password. What do you got for me? Hit me with it. A E F G L O R V Y. Anagrams being listed. Okay. Top results. A glove fry. A very golf. Fargo Levy. Gravy flow. Valey frog. Also, Ago fly rev. Grove fly a. Uh, R fly gov. Era fly gov. Elf gov ray. It's Valley Forge. Valley for I don't have that on my computer. It's Valley Forged. She pressed ENL twice. Valley Forge was a turning point in the American Revolution. Can I marry your brain? We're in. Hello. Ben, you're doing great. Ben, pick it up. You got about one. We own video. I lost my feed. What? I lost my feed. Ben, I don't know where anyone is. I have nothing. Ben, I have, no I have nothing. Get out of there. Get out of there now. I'm taking the whole thing. I'll get it out in the elevator. What are you talking about? Is it heavy? Shaw, door three. One minute. Gates. What was that? Who's shooting? Damn. He's got the bloody map. Are you still there, Ben? I'm in the elevator. Ian's here. There was a uh, shooting. I hate that guy. Hey, Rebecca. Do you have a uh, Paul Brown on that list? <laughs> hey, Rebecca. Do you have a Paul Brown on that list? Paul Brown. No, not here. Have a good night. Are you trying to steal that? It's 39.85. Once again, a reminder that this script does not have any numbers in it, so I'm trying to go from memory. For this? Yeah. That's a lot. Hey, I don't make the prizes. It's, um... I have 35... 89. We take Visa. This is Mike, sub level three. I have an alert. Where are you, Ben? Where are you? Stop talking. Start the van. Ben, the uh, the mean declaration ladies behind you. This is so much gum. Hey. Oh, it's you. Hello. Mr. Brown, what's going on? What's that? It's a souvenir. Really? Stop chatting and get in the van. Code red. Code red. We have a break in. Lock it down. Nobody leaves the building. Get the FBI on the phone. Did you enjoy the party? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. You did not know. Security! Over here. Give me that. It's yours. Take it. Security. Over here. Security. Got you. Go. Victor, move. We can't just let her go. We can. Go. Security. Over here. Wait. No. Hold it. Hold it. What? Oh, bad. What do you want? Give me the document. Bad, bad, bad. Let me go. Just bring her. No, no, that's, go, go. And just who might you be? Once we catch them, what do we do? 
I'm working on it. Right turn, right turn. Why don't you just pass me that document? <clears throat> then we can all go home. Oh, no. Skidding, skidding, skidding. Oh, no. Holy Lord. Help. No, if she falls, the document falls. Get me next to her. Thank you. No. Got it. Go on. Abigail. Come on. Jump. We lost them. That's all right. This is what we need. Well done, Gates. Well done. Are you all right? No, those lunatics. You're not hurt, are you? You're all lunatics. Are you hungry? What? Are you all right? Still a little on edge from being shot at, but I'll be okay. Thanks for asking. Yeah, well, I'm not all right. Those men have the Declaration of Independence. She lost it? They don't have it. See? Okay. Now, could you please stop shouting? Give me that. You're still shouting. It's starting to annoy. You'd do well, Dr. Chase, to be a bit more civilized in this instance. If this is the real one, what did they get? A souvenir. I thought it'd be a good idea to have a duplicate. Turned out, I was right. I actually had to pay for the souvenir and the real one, so you owe me $38 plus tax. Genius. Who were those men? Just the guys we warned you were going to steal the declaration. I'm going to take a pause to try to blow a bubble. There's just too much gum for a bubble. Okay, back to the script. And you didn't believe us. We did the only thing we could to keep it safe. That's dumb. Give me that. You know something? You're shouting again. I'm pretty sure she was swearing, too. Well, we probably deserve that. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Peter Sadusky. I'm the agent in charge. I want to reassure you, you are not in any dangers in any way. If we all cooperate, we'll get through this with as little frustration as possible. Thank you. Get positive IDs. Search everyone, including the security staff. If they refuse, detain them and get warrants. Yes, Agent Hendricks, do you have something? Um, this isn't a day for... Um, we got a tip several days ago that someone was going to steal the Declaration of Independence. Do we have a name on the tipster? There was no file opened. We didn't find the information credible. How about now? There is not a treasure map on the back of the Declaration of Independence. And there's no chance anyone can steal this either. I leveled with you 100%. Everything I told you was the truth. I want that document, Mr. Brown. Okay, my name's not Brown. It's Gates. I leveled with you 99%. Wait a minute, did you just say Gates? Gates? You're that family with the conspiracy theory about the Founding Fathers. It's not a conspiracy theory, per se. You know what? I take it back. You're not liars. You're insane. There's a copy of the Declaration on display now. Yes, we decided to leave it there. The guests know something happened, but they don't know what. They got him with a taser at the service entrance. He doesn't remember a thing. Also, we found bullet casings. Did we get a description from the other guards? Which guards? The guards that were fired upon.
there weren't any other guards on patrol down here. So who was shooting? Who were they shooting at? And why weren't they getting along? <laughs> you can't seriously intend to run chemical tests on the Declaration of Independence in the back of a moving van. We have a clean room environment all set up. EDS suits, a particulate air filtration system, the whole shebang. Really? We can't go back there. What? Why not? This is the guy. Dr. Herbert said Dr. Chase introduced him as Mr. Brown. Not on the guest list. Now the gift store clerk, she said he seemed, well, she said flustered. He tried to walk out with a copy of the Declaration of Independence. without paying. He paid with a visa, charged to Benjamin Gates. A credit card slip? Dude, we're on the grid. They'll have your records from forever. They'll have my records from forever. I know, I know. It's only a matter of minutes before the FBI shows up at my front door. What do we do? We need those letters. What letters? You know, get off the road, take a right. What letters? You have the original Silence Do Good letters? Did you steal those too? We have scans of the originals. Quiet, please. How did you get scans? Oh, I know the person who has the originals. Now shush. Why do you need them? She really can't shut her mouth, can she? I'll tell you what, look. I will let you hold on to this if you'll promise to shut up, please. Thank you. Ben, you know what you have to do. I know what to do. I'm just trying to think of anything else we could do. Well, not to be a nudge, but you do realize how many people we have after us. We probably have our own satellite by now. It took you all of two seconds to decide to steal the Declaration of Independence. Gum piece number 25. Yeah, but I didn't think I was going to have to personally tell my dad about it. Hey, not cool, not cool. Let me go. Okay, you're let go. Go, shoo. I'm not going, not without the declaration. You're not going with the declaration. Yes, I am. I'm not letting it out of my sight, so I'm going. Well, wait, you're not going with us with the declaration. It's getting to the point where it's like getting hard to breathe through my mouth, so. All right, just split it in half, one in each cheek. Here we go. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Look, if you wanted to leave me behind, you shouldn't have told me where you were going. Clear. What the? Now we're getting somewhere. They're digital scans of letters to the editor of the New England Current. 
written, they're all from the same person. Your humble servants, your humble servant, silence, do good. Gentlemen, why is this word capitalized? Because it's important? Because it's a name. Okay, I got it. When Benjamin Franklin was only 14 years old, he secretly wrote 27 letters to his brother's new newspaper pretending to be a middle-aged widow named Silence Duguid. These letters were written by Benjamin Franklin. Looks okay. Park a couple blocks away. Well, how long do you think we got? I'm going to give them a couple hours at least. I hope. What do we do about her? I've got some duct tape in the back. No, that won't be necessary. She won't be any trouble. Promise you won't be any trouble? I promise. See? She's curious. Here's what I got on Gates. A degree in American History from Georgetown. A degree in Mechanical Engineering at MIT. Navy ROTC and Naval Diving and Salvage Training Center. What in the world did this guy want to be when he grew up? We keep our focus on Gates. Run him to ground. Compile a family and friends list. Closest relative first. I want to find out who this guy is. Dad. Where's the party? Well, I'm in a little trouble. Is she pregnant? Well, if she is, are you going to leave the woman carrying your grandchild standing out in the cold? I look pregnant. This better not be about that dumb treasure. Well, have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. There's some pizza. It's still warm, I think. Dad, I need the silence to do good letters. Yeah, it's about the treasure. And he dragged you two into this nonsense? Literally. I volunteered. Well, unvolunteer before you waste your life. Knock it off, Dad. Sure, sure. I'm the family kook. I have a job, a house, health insurance. At least I had your mother for however brief a time. At least I had you. What do you have? Him? Look, if you just give us the letters, we're gone. You disappoint me, Ben. Well, maybe that's the real Gates family legacy. Sons who disappoint their fathers. Get out. Take your troubles with you. I found the Charlotte. The Charlotte? You mean she was a ship? Yeah, she was beautiful. It was amazing, Dad. And the treasure? No, no, but we found another clue that led us here. Yeah, and that'll lead you to another clue. And that's all you'll ever find is another clue. Don't you get it, Ben? I finally figured it out. The legend says that the treasure was buried to keep it from the British. But what really happened was that the legend was invented to keep the British occupied searching for buried treasure. The treasure's a myth. I refuse to believe that. Well, you can believe what you want. You're a grown person. What am I doing? Do what you want, Ben. Do what you want. Whew. He's probably right. You don't even know if there is another clue. Well, I can think of a way where we could find out. And we could find out right now. Looks like animal skin. How old is it? At least 200 years. Really? You sure? Pretty darn. Now, if this thing's an invisible ink, how do we look at it? Throw it in the oven. No. Uh -uh. Ferrous sulfate inks can only be brought out with heat. Yes, but this, it's very old. This is very old, and we can't risk compromising the map. <coughs> you need a reagent. Dad, it's really late. Why don't you get some rest? I'm fine. Lemons. You can't do that. But it has to be done. Then someone who is trained to handle antique documents is going to do it. Okay. Okay. Now, if there is a secret message, it'll probably be marked by a symbol in the upper right-hand corner. That's right. I am so getting fired for this. I told you, you need heat. See? We need more juice. We need more heat. That's not a map. Is it? More clues. What a surprise. Are those latitudes and longitudes? That's why we need the silence do good letters. That's the key? Yeah, the key in silence undetected. Dad, can we have the letters now? Will somebody please explain to me what these magic numbers are? It's an Ottendorf cipher. That's right. Oh, okay. <clears throat> What's an Ottendorf cipher? They're just codes. Each of these three numbers corresponds to a word and a key. 
usually a random book or a newspaper article. In this case, the silence do good letters. So it's like a, the page number of the key text, the line on the page, and then the letter in that line. So dad, where are the letters? You know, it's just by sheer happenstance that his grandfather, dad, even found them. They're in an antique desk from the press room, dad, of the New England Current. That's a newspaper. Dad, where are the letters? I don't have them, son. What? I don't have them. Where are they? I donated them to the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia. Time to go. I still can't believe it. All this time, no one knew what was on the back. The back of what? No! Oh my god, oh my god, I know. Oh my god, what have you done? This is the, this is the, I know. This is the Declaration of Independence. Yes, and it's very delicate. You stole it? Dad, I can explain, but I don't have time. It was necessary, and you saw the cipher. And that will lead to another clue. And that will lead to another clue. There is no treasure. I wasted 45 years of my life, and now you've destroyed yours. And you pulled me into all this. Well, we can't have that. Come in. I'm in here. FBI, right? You gonna untie me? And you have no idea where he's going? Well, wouldn't I have told you if I did? Would you? He tied me to a chair. The garage is empty, but there's a Cadillac DeVille registered to Patrick Gates. And he stole my car. Don't worry, Mr. Gates. We'll find your car. And your son. Your dad's got a sweet ride. I think we should change clothes. We look kind of conspicuous, don't you think? I'd love to go shopping, too, but we have no money. Here, I took this from his house. He usually tucks a few hundred dollars somewhere between those pages. Common sense. How appropriate. When are we going to get there? I'm hungry. This car smells weird. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oops. Sorry, sir. Excuse me. That's okay. S-S-A-N-D. Okay. You're sure this is right? Okay. S S A no N That is an N. It doesn't look like an N. You know what? Here, last one, okay? One more dollar. Thank you. Go get the last four letters. Go get them, chief. Come on. <clears throat> Some water here. Okay, the vision to see the treasured past comes as the timely shadow crosses in front of the house of pass and, pass and what? Pass and, what's going on? I'm not sure. What's up? So you show up at your father's door and say you're in trouble. And the first thing he assumes is I'm pregnant. Is there a question in there? I think there's an interesting story in there. Well, my father thinks I've been a little too cavalier in my personal life. I see. Let me ask you something. Have you ever told someone, not a relative, I love you? Yes. <clears throat> More than one someone? Yes. Oh, well then my father would say you've been a little too cavalier in your personal life, too. So do you get your sense of absolute certainty from him, do you? Well, I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Well, you're certain the treasure is real, despite what anyone else thinks. No, but I hope it's real. I mean, I've dreamt it's real since my grandfather told me about it. But I want to hold it. I feel like I'm so close, I can taste it. But I just, I just want to know it's not just something in my head or in my heart. People don't really talk that way, you know. I know. But they think that way. <clears throat> hey. Did you get it, Riley? Oh, I got it. <laughs> the vision to see the treasured past comes as the timely shadow crosses in front of the house of Pass and Stowe. Now, Pass and Stowe, of course, referring to the Liberty Bell. Why do you have to do that? Well, John Pass and John Stowe cast the bell. Okay, then, well, what does the rest of this mean? Wait, the vision to see the treasured past must refer to a way to read the map. Well, I thought the cipher was the map. No, the cipher was a way to find the way to read the map. 
And the way to read the map can be found where the timely shadow crosses in front of the Liberty Bell, crosses in front of the house of the Liberty Bell, Independence Hall. Right, so timely shadow, it's a specific time, right. What time? What time? What time? Wait a minute. Wait, you're going to love this. Excuse me, can I see one of those $100 bills I paid you with? No. Oh, well, here, I have this diver's watch. It's called a Submariner. I dive with it. It's actually quite valuable. You can use it as collateral. Whatever. Thank you. On the back of a $100 bill is an etching of Independence Hall, based on a painting done in... Hello? Thank you. <clears throat> in the 1800s, who... The artist was actually a friend of Benjamin Franklin's. It's wonderful. Fascinating. Hold this. Okay. I'm not going anywhere. Now, I think that if we looked at this clock tower, we may find a specific time. What do you see? 2.45. What time is it now? Almost 3. We missed it. No, we didn't. We didn't miss it because you don't know this. I, I know something about history you don't know. I'd be very excited to learn about it, Riley. Well, hold on one second. Let me just let me just take in this moment. This is this is cool. Is this how you feel all the time? Because you know, except for now, of course. Riley. All right. What I know is that daylight savings wasn't established until World War One. If it's three p.m. now, okay, that means in 1776 it would be two p.m. Let's go. Riley, you're a genius. Yeah. Do you actually know who was the first person to suggest daylight savings was? Benjamin Franklin. Is this real? Just tell me what you told my friend. Just a bunch of letters. I can't remember. Can you remember which ones you were going to tell him next? Yeah, here. S-T-O-W. Top results. Liberty Bell and Independence Hall. Imagine its impact back in the 18th century. It could have been seen for miles around, which was exactly its purpose, because it served as a beacon, as it were, for people to collect and hear good stuff. It gained a place in history on July 4th, 1776, when the Liberty Bell tolled for the first public reading of the Declaration of Independence. Stick number 30. Eventually, it was moved from its place in Independence Hall steeple and given its own idiot. Who? Me. What? It's not here. It's there. Come on. The gum pockets in each cheek got connected in the middle. I had to re-separate them. But I'm good to go. <clears throat> okay. What bell is this? It's the Centennial Bell. It replaced the Liberty Bell in 1865. There it is. All right, I'm going to go down there, and you meet me in the signing room. Okay? All right? Okay. All right, let's go. 245, my idea. Hey, what's your score? I found this. Some sort of ocular device. The vision to see the treasured past. Let me take this. Oh, they're like early American x-ray specs. Benjamin Franklin invented something like these. I think he invented these. So what do we do with them? We look through it. Here, help me. Careful. You think? What? It's just that the last time this was here, it was being signed. Ben, there's another tour coming. Yeah, turn it over. Careful. Spectacles. 
What do you see? What is it? Is it a treasure map? It says here at the wall, spelled with two E's. Take a look. Wow. Why can't it just say, go to this place and here's the treasure, spend it wisely? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. How'd they find us? Well, Ian has nearly unloaded resources, and he's smart. I don't think we can get out of here without being spotted. <clears throat> well, we don't want them to have the declaration. This is much more physically taxing than I expected. Or the glasses. But we especially don't want them to have them both together. So what do we do? We separate the lock from the key. We're splitting up. Good idea. Really? I'll take this and those. You keep that and meet me at the car and call me if you have any problems. Like if we get caught and killed? Yeah, that would be a big problem. Take care of her. I will. We're on him. There he is. Let's walk this way. Wait up. Shaw, look. There's the others. I got it. Victor, meet me at 5th and Chestnut. Fifth and Chestnut, they're headed your way. Look out, look out, Riley. There they are, move, move. Time to run. Keep up, Victor, move, come on. In here, come on, follow me. That way. If you're not a stake, you don't belong here. I'm just trying to hide from my ex-husband. Who, Baldy? Yes. Honey, stay as long as you'd like. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You want something? Do you want something? Shut up. I see why you left him. Go around. Go around. Gates. Oh, come on. Where were you? Hiding. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Ian. Ian, I've got him. They're heading towards City Hall. Okay, I'm on my way. Out of the way. They're headed for the breezeway on the north side. I'll be right there. Hey, Gates. Enough, man. Give me the document. All right, Phil. Watch out. Get out of my way. Watch it. Leave them. Let them go. We've got it. FBI. Have you seen this guy? No. Nope. I haven't seen him. Ted. Philadelphia police found Gates' car. It's close. We've got surveillance there now. Let's go. Tell the boss we got the car. What? We lost it. What? We lost the declaration. Ian took it. Yeah, okay. You alright? You both alright? Yeah, yeah, we're alright. Ben, I'm sorry. We'll be fine. Just meet me at the car. Suspect has arrived. Hello, Mr. Gates. Mr. Gates, face your father's car and put your hands behind your back, please. We got one in custody. Gates, you're a hard man to find. Could you please be careful? Riley, do you know how to get in touch with Ian? Excuse me? That's some story. Well, it's the same story I tried to tell you before, but tell you guys before the declaration was stolen. By you. No, by Ian. I stole it to stop him. I did it alone. Dr. Chase was not involved. And Ian still ended up with the Declaration of Independence. Because of you. So, here's your options. Door number one. You go to prison for a very long time. Door number two. We're going to get back the Declaration of Independence. And you will help us find it. And you still go to prison for a very long time. But you feel better inside. Is there a door that doesn't lead to prison? Someone's got to go to prison, Ben. Yeah. So what are these for? It's a way to read the map. Right. Knights Templar. Freemasons. Invisible treasure map. So what did it say? Here at the wall. Nothing else. It's just another clue. 
It looks like Ian Howe could be a false identity. Follow up with ATF and NIS. INS. There's more to it. Standard tap procedure. Let's check the signal, folks. Lock it in. Are we set? Checking source. Unknown number. Yes. Hello, Ben. How are you? Um, chained to a desk. Sorry to hear that. I want you to meet me on the flight deck of the USS Intrepid. You know where that is? New York? Meet me there at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And bring those glasses you found at Independence Hall. Yeah, I know about the glasses. We can take a look at the declaration, and then you can be on your way. Oh, boy. And I'm supposed to believe that. I told you from the start. I only wanted to borrow it. You can have it, and the glasses, and I'll even throw in the pipe from the Charlotte. I'll be there. And tell the FBI agents listening in on this call that if they want the declaration back, and not just a box of confetti, then you'll come alone. Take positions, perimeter looks normal. Can I get a status report? Crow's nest is in position, port side is quiet. Copy that. Gates is on the flight deck, eyes on gates. Do not lose sight of primary mark. Brian, you're clear with NYPD. I have a visual. Gates, stay with the program. I hope your agents are all under four feet tall and wearing little scarves. <coughs> Otherwise, Ian's going to know they're here. As soon as he shows you the declaration, we'll move in. Don't try anything. Just let us handle it. You know, Agent Sadusky, something I've noticed about fishing. It never works out so well for the bait. Sir, we've got some traffic incoming. Looks like a sightseeing helicopter. Unit 2, get an eyeball on that chopper. Agent Michaels, get FAA flight plans and authorization records on that craft. If that's not Mr. Howe, I want to know who it is. I got him. He's coming from the north. Gates, are you with me? Well, I'm sure not against you, if that's what you're asking. We've got some interference on Gates' mic, sir. This I know. Hello, Ben. Thomas Edison needed only one way to make a light bulb. Sound familiar? Keep sight lines clear. What's the devil's going on? There's a lot of commotion. We can't see Gates. Go to the starboard observation point behind the F-18, and here's what you do. Gates! Gates! Air tour helicopter, you are in controlled airspace. Vacate immediately. <clears throat> Who's got gates? All agents, report in. I can't see anything. Did gates speak to anybody? Target is moving. He's heading towards the stern. I've got him. He's coming this way. Anyone got a view of our friend Ian Howe? Ian Howe is not at the stern, sir. Then why is he heading there? He's at the observation deck. Sadusky. I'm still not against you, but I found door number three, and I'm taking it. What's he talking about? Move in! Move in! Move in on gates! Divers are a go. Snipers, go to Action Zebra. All teams move in. Pursue at own risk. I, re I repeat, pursue at own risk. You first. Holy mackerel. He set us up. Agent Dawes, do you have a visual? Can you see gates in the water? Sir... It's the Hudson. Nothing is visible. Smart fish. Hello, Ben. Welcome to New Jersey. What'd you do with Abigail and Riley? Hope these fit. We had to guess your sizes. I said, what'd you do with Abigail and Riley? He's the only one who could have told you that line about Edison. Did you bring the glasses? I don't know. Tell me what's happening here. Ask your girlfriend. She's the one calling all the shots now. She won't shut up. <clears throat> yeah, hello? It's for you. Hello. Hi, sweetie. How's your day going? Uh, interesting, dear. So what, you working with Ian now? Turns out helping someone escape from FBI custody is a criminal act. And he's the only criminal we knew.
throat is like so dry from all this the swallowing. <laughs> just want to show you the size of the pieces of gum in my mouth right now. All right, back in they go. Coming down the home stretch here, I hope. And he's the only criminal we knew, so we called him and made a deal. Well, you're 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 all right, yeah? I mean, you're safe? Yeah, we both are. Riley's right here doing something clever with a computer. I'm tracking him through the, uh, hey, I'm tracking him through the GPS in Shaw's phone. They'll take a turn anywhere we don't want and we'll know, so don't worry. If Ian tries to double cross us, we can call the FBI and tell them right where you are and where to find Ian. And where's that? Right across the street from where we're hiding, at the intersection of Wall Street and Broadway. Well, you figured out the clue. Simple, here at the wall, Wall Street and Broadway. Ben, there is a catch. We made Ian believe he could have the treasure. It was the only way we could get this far. He's here. Here we go. Ben, you all right? No broken bones? A jump like that could kill a man. No, it was cool. You should try it sometime. The Declaration of Independence? And the Meerschaum Pipe. All yours. That's it. That's it. I knew you'd keep your promise. Now where is it? Where's my treasure? It's right here. The map said here at the wall, spelled with two E's. <clears throat> wall Street follows the path of an actual wall that the original Dutch settlers built as a defense to keep the British out. The main gate was located at a street called De Heer, also two E's. Later, Deheer Street was renamed Broadway after the British got in. So, here at the wall. Cheerio. Just a moment, Ben. Ian, if you break our deal, the FBI will only be a few moments behind you. You might get away, you might not. Is that all the map said? Every word. Oh, Ben. You know the key to running a convincing bluff. Every once in a while, you've got to be holding all the cards. Dad... Is there anything else you want to tell me? Trinity Church. We have to go inside Trinity Church. Good. Excellent. Well, why don't you ask Dr. Chase and Riley to join us? I'm sure they're around here somewhere. Are you all right? What do you think? I'm a hostage. <coughs> sit. Sit down. Let them go, Ian, when we find the treasure. No. Now. Or you can figure out the clues for yourself. Good luck. Ben. I don't think you fully appreciate the gravity of the situation. Let's have a look at that map. It's... It's it's really quite something. It's... It really is remarkable. Take a look. Parkington Lane. Beneath Parkington Lane. But why would the map lead us here, and then take us somewhere else? What's the purpose? Just another clue. Dad. No, you're right. Parkington Lane has to be here somewhere. A street inside the church? Not inside, beneath. I'm so sorry, Ben. None of this is your fault. I could... Come on. Look. Cooperation only lasts as long as the status quo is unchanged. As soon as this guy gets to wherever this thing ends, he won't need you anymore. Or, or any of us. So we find a way to make sure the status quo changes in our favor. How? I'm still working on it. Well, I guess I better work on it too, then. Hey, Par, I, hey, I found it. Him. Ben. It's a name. Parkington Lane. He was a third degree <clears throat> master mason of the blue... L hey, stop. Easy. Careful no one steps in him. All right, put it down. Okay, who wants to go down the creepy tunnel inside the tomb first? Right, McGregor, Victor, you stay here. And if anyone should come out without me, well... Use your imagination. Shall we? You got a light? Careful. Watch your step. Come here. <laughs> Why does that never happen to me? What's this? It's a chandelier. Here. Wow. Look at the elevators. 
a dumbwaiter system. How do a bunch of guys with hand tools build all this? Same way they built the pyramids and the Great Wall of China. Yeah, the aliens helped them. Right, let's go. What are we waiting for? I'm not going out on that thing. 200 years of termite damage and rot. Dad, do what he says. Watch your step. We're right under the Trinity graveyard. That's probably why no one ever found this. What is that? Subway. Shaw! Oh god, Shaw! Oh my god. Hold on, hold on! Okay, get on the elevator. Jump! Ben, grab my hand. Come on. Ian! Abigail, get on. Jump! Here. Ben. Get down there, get down there. The Declaration. This is piece number 40. Four zero. Do you trust me? Yes. Oh no, Ben! Hang on! Son! I'm sorry. I'm sorry I dropped you. I had to save the declaration. No, don't be. I would have done exactly the same thing to you. Really? I would have dropped you both, freaks. Get on. Ian, it's not worth it. Do you imagine any one of your lives is more valuable to me, valuable to me than Shaw's? We go on. The status quo. Keep the status quo. Now what? This is, this is where it all leads. Okay, let's go. What is this? So where's the treasure? Well, this is it. We came all this way for a dead end. Yes. There's got to be something more. Riley, there's nothing more. Another clue or no. There are no more clues. That's it, okay? It's over. End of the road. The treasure's gone. Moved. Taken somewhere else. You're not playing games with me, are you, Ben? Hmm? You know where it is. No. Okay, go. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, Ian, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Ian. We'll be trapped. Don't do this. You can't just leave us here. Yes, I can. Unless Ben tells me the next clue. There isn't another clue. Ian, why don't you just come back down here and we can talk through this together. Don't speak again. Okay. The clue. Where's the treasure? Ben? The lantern. Dad. The status quo has changed, son. Don't. It's part of Freemason teachings. In King Solomon's temple, there was a winding staircase. It signified the journey that had to be made to find the light of truth. The lantern is the clue. And what does it mean? Boston. It's Boston. The old, north, the old North Church in Boston, where Thomas Newton hung a lantern in the steeple to signal Paul Revere that the British were coming, one if by land, two if by sea. One lantern under the winding staircase of the steeple. That's where we have to look. Thank you. Hey, you have to take us with you. Why? So you can escape in Boston. Besides, with you out of the picture, there's less baggage to carry. What if we lied? Did you? What if there's another clue? Then I'll know right where to find you. See you, Ben. No! There's no other way out! Come back! You're gonna need us, Ian. We're all gonna die. It's gonna be okay, Riley. I'm sorry I yelled at you. It's okay, kiddo. Okay, boys. What's going on? The British came by sea. It was two lanterns, not one. Ian needed another clue, so we gave it to him. It was a fake. It was a fake clue. The all-seeing eye. Through the all-seeing eye. That means by the time Ian figures it out and comes back here, we'll still be trapped 
and he'll shoot us then. Either way, we're going to die. Nobody's going to die. There's another way out. Where? Through the treasure room. Here. Riley. <sighs> Looks like somebody got here first. I'm sorry, Ben. It's gone. Listen, Ben. It may even be gone before Charles Carroll told the story to Thomas Gates. It doesn't matter. I know, because you were right. No, I wasn't right. This room is real, Ben. And that means the treasure is real. We're in the company of some of the most brilliant minds in history. Because you found what they left behind for us to find. And understand the meaning of it. You did it, Ben. For all of us. Your grandfather and all of us. And I've never been so happy to be proven wrong. I just really thought I was going to find the treasure. Okay. Then we just keep looking for it. I'm in. Okay. Not to be a Johnny Rain Cloud here, but that's not going to happen. Because as far as, <laughs> as far as I can see, we're still trapped down here. Yeah. Now, Ben, where is this other way out? Well, that's it. It doesn't make any sense. Because the first thing the builders would have done after getting down here was to cut a secondary shaft back out for air. Right. And in case of cave-ins. Could it really be that simple? The secret lies with Charlotte. Scrolls from the library at Alexandria. Could this be possible? It's a big bluish green man with a strange looking goatee. I'm guessing that's significant. Yes! Riley, are you crying? Look. Stairs. Hi. Do you have a cell phone I could borrow? Just like that? Just like that. You do know you just handed me your biggest bargaining chip. The Declaration of Independence is not a bargaining chip. <clears throat> not to me. Have a seat. What's your offer? How about a bribe? Say, $10 billion. I take it you found the treasure. It's about five stories beneath your shoes. You know, the Templars and the Freemasons believed that the treasure was too great for any one man to have, not even a king. That's why they went to such lengths to keep it hidden. And that's right. The Founding Fathers believed the same thing about government. I figure their solution will work for the treasure too. Give it to the people. Divided amongst the Smithsonian, the Louvre, the Cairo Museum. There's thousands of years of world history down there. And it belongs to the world and everybody in it. You really don't understand the concept of a bargaining chip. Okay. Here's what I want. Dr. Chase gets off completely clean. Not even a little posted on her service record. Okay. I want the credit for the find to go to the entire Gates family with the assistance of Mr. Riley Poole. And what about you? I'd really love not to go to prison. I can't even begin to describe how much I would love not to go to prison. Someone's got to go to prison, Ben. Well, if you've got a helicopter, I think I can help with that. Freeze! FBI! Freeze! Don't move! Show me your hands! Put your hands up! Move! 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 You're under arrest, Mr. Howe. We've got you on kidnapping, attempted murder, and trespassing on government property. Yeah, you got it, Chief. Thank you. Bye. They want us in Cairo next week for the opening of the exhibit. 
They're sending a private jet. That's fun. Yeah, big whoop. We could have had a whole fleet of private jets. 10%, Ben. They offered you 10% and you turned it down. Riley, we've been over this. It was too much. I couldn't accept it. I still have this splinter that's been festering for three months from an old piece of wood. Okay, I'll tell you what. Next time we find a treasure that redefines history for all mankind, you make the call on the finder's fee. That's not as funny. What do you care? You got the girl. It's true. It's true. Rub it in. Enjoy your spoils while I sit on 1%. One stinking percent. Half of 1%, actually. 1%. Unbelievable. I'm sorry for your suffering, Riley. For the record, Ben, I like the house. You know, I chose this estate because in 1889, Charles Carroll met, yeah, someone did that something, someone that did something in history and had fun. Great. Wonderful. Could have had a bigger house. I made something for you. You did? What? A map. A map? Where does it lead to? You'll figure it out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the entire movie of National Treasure with 42 pieces of gum. You might want to look away if you don't want to see me spit this out. That is nasty. We'll get a close-up of that in a second. Wow. Okay. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Completely insane. Uh, don't forget to like this video, send it to a friend, and we will make National Treasure 3 a reality. And please subscribe to this channel for more absurd content like this.